Good morning, Orchard STEM School. This is Mr. Hoydick, the art teacher. Today, we are going to learn about Jacob Lawrence, and we're going to make a sketch or sloppy copy, you could call it a rough draft, based on his Fulton and Nostrand painting. And the painting is at the Cleveland Museum of Art. When I went to look at the paintings, this one had so many details. It just captured my imagination. Now to do this study or sketch, I'm going to focus in on like one area first. And I really like this guy over in the corner. I think he's super cool. And his jagged lines that make up his body really make me want to try to draw it. So I'm going to start right about here. By the way, I might move this over. And I think I'm going to put the street light in just to set up where things will be. And it's like a it's like a half circle with a top. And again, this is a sloppy copy, so things don't have to look perfect. And now right about here is where I'm going to try to draw this man. And I'll start, let's see. I'll start with an oval for his head. And I'm going to make his hat on his head. We spoke about how this was painted in the 50s, and in the 50s, if men left the house, they had a hat on, they dressed up. And you can see this guy's got a jacket, it's like a sport coat, and what looks like a flower or boutonniere on his lapel. And so I see they're really sharp shapes that make him up. hand in a pocket and there's his other leg and I'm gonna make the stripes the stripes add to the sharp angularity of the picture and I see some stripes here and I'm worried more about shapes than I am what the man looks like because the shapes make him look like he does. If I want to shade in his shoes a little bit and I'll shade in the stripes a little bit and there's a little bit of stripe here and his jacket is kind of broken down into some other shapes. Here's his, his boot here there we go. And his face, I see nose, I see one eye, I see mouth, and I see his face is darker in the back. That could be his hair and it could be shadow. And I see his hat has a large dark area as well. All right, starting out. Now if I want to make the car, The car actually goes behind the street light. And let's see. The part comes up here. Yep, it looks like I'm stretching the car to go on the other side of the street light. In the painting, all of the cab of the car is behind. But in mine, I had to stretch it to make sure it fit. And there's a man in the car. I'll, I'll draw him later. If I want to draw that crazy dog, now is the time. And what I'll actually do, I can move things around so that I can see it. And so the dog has a very long tail. And it's got one leg running one way. And it's very jagged. The dog almost looks like a, like a mouse. And there's its back. And its other leg is running back. And it's got a leash. And I, I lost 
I lost the man walking the dog. Because my picture where things are is a little bit different. Now I'm going to, at the top, add some of these buildings. And I'm just going to sketch. I want to leave it blank so I can populate it. This is the sign that says Lou's Pawn Shop. And you can see things are moving because here is the florist shop. And this is the sign that has a bunch of flowers on it. And I'll move over here to the other side of the street. And let's see. Make some more windows. And the windows are parallelograms or just different, different looking polygons. They all have this in the corner to make it look like it has depth. And here's the storefront. And if I want to make the tuxedo, I can make the tuxedo here. A little bow tie on it. And here's the sign that says tuxedos. 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 There we go. And then I'm going to leave this area alone. I think this woman in the blue dress, I might put her here. I might populate some more people over here. But I think I have a pretty good start on my sketch for sloppy copy. I actually want to put the woman first and then I'll be done. So, you know what? She comes all the way up here. There's her head neck, shoulders, the arms are very angular. Uh, let's see here. And there's her daughter in front of her. So the daughter, we see, there's her, there's her neckline, and we see her arm, and she's holding a flower, so I'm going to put that flower in her hand. Looks like I made her too close to the dog. Good thing the dog's on a leash. There's a dress. Her one foot is really stretching back here. And there's, let's see, get her other arm in there. And mom's holding her. And we can have hair. Let's put some features. And I'm going to need to zoom in to look at the features. I'm going to just leave this as a sketch. Until next week. So there we go. I'm starting to populate my picture and put people in my street scene. So please submit a sketch, rough draft, or sloppy copy for today's lesson. You can focus on any part of this that you want. You can make your people uh, look differently, wear some different clothes if you wish. What I'd like to see are the sharp angles angular shapes to make up the people. All right, well, thanks so much. Can't wait to see your artwork.